Yo, yo, yo! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I just want to say thank you guys so much, seriously, for all the support. Papa, thanks you guys so much. You guys have one of the best military communities on YouTube for the past almost 10 years since I've been doing this, since I started. Holy shit. And you guys just honestly uh, just show so much love and support every video and I just do not deserve it. But like I said, the community is awesome. Papa thanks you, I thank you. And I just wanna hop into this video. 10 reasons why a US Navy aircraft carrier is one of the safest places to be. With all the things going on, all the turmoil, all this crazy stuff going on in the world, the video I just made last week, um, you're probably like, what? Aircraft carrier safe? Yes, you guys are gonna be very surprised when we talk about this. And also, I did live on an aircraft carrier for almost two years out at sea, multiple deployments to the Middle East, also world tour, 15 different countries, living on the aircraft carrier. So I, I can definitely give a lot of input on these 10 reasons. This is by Forbes, by the way. Forbes, Forbes, Forbes. Reason number one, it says deployed carriers are always moving. Yes, we're quick, up to 35 miles an hour. When you're up on the flight deck, I'm launching aircraft and I'm recovering helicopters and we're launching them. We're going into the wind, trying to get more lift for these aircraft taking off. And we've done some, I've been on the aircraft when we practice high speed maneuver turns, high speed maneuvers. It's crazy. Yeah, we're quick, we're always moving. So it's saying good luck locating us. You're gonna come after us. We could be within thousands of square miles in the whole ocean, like that. Number two, it says US aircraft carriers have unlimited range. So no, this is good, unlimited range, because number one, say they take out like our, our fuelers, right? Our resupply ships, our fueling ships, we're fine. We're good on the car aircraft carrier. We have nuclear power for months and months and months and months and months and months and months. But I don't, I don't know who's, I know there's a lot of nukes that watch the channel. How long can we go with our reactors? Years? Centuries? Thousands! And also, if they're trying to catch us, the enemies are trying to get to us or whatever, like I said, we can dip and maneuver forever. We're out. And once we, and once we get away from you, <laughs> alert 15s, alert 5s, we're launching the birds. We're coming for your ass. Number three, Forbes says, well, aircraft carrier is very safe. It says that carrier air wings, so you know, the ship, aircraft carrier, the whole ship, we can destroy enemy combat systems. We can destroy the enemy. It's saying because of our carrier air wing. So we got the F-18s, right? Uh, growlers, we used to have prowlers. Um, MH-60 Romeos, Sierras, the, uh, Number four, it says carrier sensors are netted with other friendly assets. What? Okay, English. Let's speak it in English. Um, what it's saying is we have multiple layers of defense. Okay, not just like the aircraft, the air support that we're launching. Not just the aircraft carrier in itself has defense systems, right? Like the the you know what I'm talking about. We have submarines below us. Also, we're in a fleet of ships with destroyers, cruisers, and they have their own defense systems. So it's like, the, think of like, a, like a, uh, a layers, like a cake. You're looking at the cake, there's like multiple systems, bro. You gotta get past the first part, and then the second part, and then the third, and then the fourth, and it gets smaller and smaller. So like, so many things have to fail. There's so many fail safes. I think I just covered like two or three in one. So we're gonna move on to the next one, dude. It says uh, carriers are impossible to sink. Yes, we have many watertight compartments. I don't know that much about shipboard, uh, you know, defense about being a damage controlman because I was uh, aviation up on the flight deck up top. I didn't have to. If there was stuff going on, emergencies, I'd be up on the flight deck. I go up there. I don't have to worry about down low. So um, if we do get hit by things, it's very hard to sink the ship though because of the watertight compartments and the integrity, it keeps the integrity of the ship, it's crazy. 
It's like one one part of the carrier can be totally messed up and you close all these hatches and the damage control men do the little magic th stuff, sprinkle some DC dust, and our ship's floating. Like if you look at uh, a couple years ago when there was the collisions in the transit, when we were transiting some straits, some shipping lanes, and the ships ran into each other, some of that damage was so extensive and the ship still stayed afloat. Crazy. Okay, and the last two reasons. One of them says loose lips. It's like the loose lips uh, sink ships. It says that the Navy's movement, we have a lot of secret. Secrecy. Operational security. Dude. So there's basically saying like loose lips sink ships. You can count on us. We're great seamen. We never give away secrets, man. We would never post any ship's movement on Facebook. Ever. Last but not least, we're getting even newer aircraft carriers, the Ford class. We still have mostly all of our carriers are Nimitz, but now we're getting the Ford class. And they have like crazy, pew! These guys have lasers, <laughs> electromagnetic rails. They probably have like some alien type of technology. I wouldn't be surprised if the, we're gonna have like hovering aircraft carriers, like the hover craft that we have that the Marines use, or like a SWCC SWIC, those hover boats. Put that all, imagine just the aircraft carrier being able to like hover, or go onto land. <sighs> aircraft carrier into like an amphibious assault, from ship, from the ocean to land? <sighs> That's some like Death Star, oh man. I hope in my lifetime we can we can get an aircraft carrier where it can go onto the land. If you look at uh, what's the term? I'm gonna ramble real quick. There is a term I was uh, reading about where it's like technology advances itself so fast it starts multiplying, right? And that technology makes more technology, and then eventually AI will create like you know. Then we're useless, whatever. There's a certain term, dude. There's like uh, estimates for like 2045, 2045 or 2050 is like the estimates for um, singularity, 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 come here, care about me, love me, just love me, man. Gray, do you want to go in the snow? Do you want to go in the snow? Maximus, do you want to go in the snow? Sometimes you go in the snow. Sometimes you go in the snow. Go potty. Bye. Off they go. Oh man. Hey brother. I feel you my dude. We're not going out there brother. We are not going out there brother. What's up brother? Scoot your booty. <gasps> there they are. So proud. Yo, what up, fam? Follow Good Sailor, you know the brand. Rocking t-shirts and sweaters, rapping poppers playing. Click that link in the description, go and check out what you're missing.